Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. Our patient is a uh, very nice X870E Aorus Pro from Gigabyte for a socket replacement. And this one took a heavy damage. It looks like, I don't know even how this happened. Even here, see, it, I don't know, it's like it's been hit really <laughs> with a lot of force that I don't I don't think that's a dropping CPU although it could be those CPUs are pretty heavy and what do we have this is a proper gaming board uh, two PCA chips uh, plenty of um, what do you call it the SATA uh, SSD drives and interestingly this looks like this old PCI that we used to get, right? The, the, the regular PCI, not PCI Express. Um, it's not reinforced, but it's, uh, it's pretty solid. It's, um, it, should, it should hold, should be able to hold pretty serious GPUs. Um, and interesting uh, so IO is controlled by the transistors while the V core is controlled by the drivers interesting uh, yeah that's a proper powerful board now this uh, the socket has no outline so we're gonna have to outline it and replace it and actually the customer did send us the replacement socket uh, let's see this is yeah this is in loads so this is gonna be tin solder which is fine and we're gonna test the new version of our software all right let's get to it
and we're done. This is pretty much as textbook as it gets. A um, few things went a little bit sideways. So number one, my bottom heater thermocouple was just hanging outside this little hole over here. <laughs> I corrected it after I noticed. Um, but that brought the temperature of the board to a whopping 220 degrees or something like that. I don't see any repercussions of that, like any deformation or anything like that. So it should be good. And that probably also uh, sped up the resoldering process because the socket dropped at 225 uh, which is um, oh, around the temperature I typically see them drop uh, but it's usually when it goes to 235 that's somewhere within that region that it drops uh, so that's probably because the the board was uh, preheated much higher than than I usually preheated um, the socket Looks good, looks clean. I finally got a proper solution for the ultrasonic cleaner. So it turns out using alcohol or primarily alcohol in the ultrasonic cleaner doesn't really give you good results. I mean, it cleans a bit, sure, uh, but results you get with, um, I used cobalt blue uh, liquid. Uh, that is an uh, alkaline and I, it works anywhere from 2% to 10% concentration. So it is relatively expensive because for a ounce bottle, you pay like 20 bucks. Um, but instead of using alcohol, you just pour distilled water in the, into the cleaner and just a little bit of that uh, blue liquid and it, the results are awesome. Um, maybe this doesn't look super clean, but as you can see, the, the socket is clean. That's that's all we care about. And the outline still stayed here and there. But the socket dropped. I actually I missed the moment the socket dropped. I was I was watching, um, but one second it was still up, and I just looked away, looked at the screen, and the socket was already. <laughs> in place. So it dropped very quickly. That's a good sign. That's what you want to see. You want the socket to just rapidly drop. That means it's heated uniformly and uh, and the board is, is hot. So that should create a strong bond. Uh, as far as the alignment, uh, actually this wasn't too bad. This I always, um, always kind of fear those um, sockets without outline. But I'm, I'm getting a hang of it. It definitely um, didn't take much time. This one didn't really take that much time. Alrighty, this is it. The X870E for, I don't remember who that was for, but it's free replacement. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hit the like if you liked, hit the dislike if you did not like. And I shall see you guys in the next one.